Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Uh, I need to do this video before I do. Uh, I'm going to do maybe two more videos, maybe three at the most. Maybe I'll do another hip hop video. I'm definitely going to do another sneaker blog just, you know, for the uh, sneaker heads because, you know, I got to do videos for the sneaker heads out there. So um, I might do two sneaker uh, videos. But um, nevertheless, man, um, I want to talk about, you know, once again, uh, the enemy within, or should I say the enemy within the community, the enemy within the race, the enemy that looks just like us. You know, um, one thing, you know, that tripped me out about YouTube and shit, I try to stay in my own lane. I try to watch content or watch people's channels that I'm familiar with or people that I'm affiliated with. You know what I'm saying? And one thing that pissed me off about YouTube that they put certain channels in your your timeline that you don't even like that you put and basically that you uh clicked on to the not interested uh, section on several occasions and I don't know why they do that but another thing it proves that YouTube show favoritism towards certain channels and that YouTube is proving that they have an agenda as well that they want to push and they show certain bias towards certain channels or against certain channels but nevertheless, some of these dudes on here just really disgust me. Some of these so-called, uh, some of these uh, so-called boxing channels. At the end of the day, a lot of these dudes on here is suckers and punks and cornballs. And a lot of these channels, they just display nothing but coonery and buffoonery, mammyism. Samboism, a lot of isms on their channels. And like I said, I don't know how that shit be ended up in my 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 timeline or my uh similarity videos. The videos that they pair to minds have nothing to do with the type of content that I put out. But sometimes you end up watching these videos and you just be shaking your head in disgust. You know, because you got a lot of these dudes that basically compromise themselves and basically hold themselves out for subs and views and don't have no integrity about their channel. You know, basically put on minstrel shows for their channel. You know, they open a channel up doing a whole bunch of stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? Looking dumb as fuck. Looking with a fake WWE theme and shit. You know, just and then at the end of the day, I know why they possibly be linking some of these channels and putting them in our uh, timeline or similarity videos is because we know to a certain degree they the competition, the ops, you know what I'm saying? So they purposely, YouTube purposely do that. You know, I just didn't came to that conclusion. You know, but, you know, a lot of these dudes on here, they, they, they clowns and shit. And they talk that bullshit, you know, and, and a lot of times these dudes be secretly trying to sneak this you. But that's cool, too, because I can sneak this, too. I can sneak this. I'm very well to sneak this in. I could say people's name, but the reason why I don't say a lot of these dudes' names is because if they have more subs than me, then these clowns come on here, accuse you of cloud chasing and all that type of bullshit. And you just be like, man, are you serious? I'm not cloud chasing nobody. So at the end of the day, I don't even want to get tied or linked to that type of shit. So I, I, I give enough clues of who the hell I'm talking about. You know, that's just real talk. But you got a lot of these dudes that just go against the grain and 
you know, like I say, they will just coon and Uncle Tom and just buffoon their way to get views. Like I said, I won't ever put on a minstrel show like some of these dudes be doing. But, you know, um, I've seen a couple of dudes making videos uh, coming up with this bullshit, trying to cape for a Larry Merchant typical. And this is why the community is where we are now, because at the end of the day, these dudes don't stand for nothing. They cowards. When people try to talk that bullshit, they comfortable in their own skin and they don't worry about what other people think. Nah, it's because you a coward. And they try to use these words. People are too emotional. Well, if that's the case, how come these fucking Eminem fans, every time I make a video, get all upset and call me a racist and shit? I guess they being emotional, right? So like I said, everybody can voice their opinion except black people, right? And then when you got people like me trying to call certain things out, you got dudes that like try to go against the grain because they want a certain amount of subs on their channel because they want to get uh, white and non uh, black approval on their channel, which like I say, fuck that shit. I'm not ever going to go out my way to try to please anybody that don't look like me. I say this once again. Fuck y'all. <laughs> no, excuse me. Motherfuck y'all. But I seen somebody talking this bullshit just like he tried to make a little fake video talking about um, uh, the whole Wilder glove thing was debunk. Uh, first of all, he didn't debunk shit. You know what I'm saying? He didn't debunk shit. Now, let's talk about since since people want to talk about this thing with Deontay Wilder having on the 40 pound costume. Let me tell you how Deontay Wilder possibly is telling the truth. And why it could have took away his legs. Now, a video surfaced, you know, of some clown, uh, basically. And I mean, this nigga is a real clown, too. I mean, the the the, the coonery and the buffoonery, this this bug-eyed fuck nigga uh, display on this channel was just disgusting. And the funny thing is, he used to be a, a former 7-8 groupie. You know what I'm saying? I got it. Look, it's like this. Whether you like 7-8 or not, 7-8 influenced a lot of these uh, channels that was on YouTube. That's just real talk. You know, and other uh, other people, you know. So, you know, I'm just keeping it 100. But let's talk about this weight thing because I'm finna do some debunking of the debunking. Now, first of all, if you train in a gym such as I, even when you lift weights whether you press, whether you do bench pressing, whether you use free weights. You are not supposed to lift weights every day because you want your muscles to heal. They tell you you should lift weights every other day or every three days. Because when you do power lifting, it can take away your legs if you don't give your legs time to you know, regroup, strengthen. Because if you lift weights every day, you're not going to let those muscle tissues heal. You're going to worsen them. You know what I'm saying? It can give you strength, but you are not supposed to lift weights every day. See, you didn't know that. But if you train in a gym like I do, you would know that. They tell you you are not supposed to lift weights. So, yeah, Deontay Wilder, if he tried on that suit the day before the fight and then put it on the next day. Yeah, it possibly could take away his legs, you know, since because, you know, I'm ethering you guys since, you know, some um, some cornball tried to call itself debunking. Well, I'm debunking your bullshit. So it is possible that that could have affected Deontay Wilder's legs. I'm not saying that's the sole purpose, but it could have affected Deontay's movement. Okay. Because Deontay was rather stiff in that fight. But like I said, if you lift weights, you would know that shit. Ask anybody. Ask any trainer. You are not supposed to lift weights 
even if you have, even if you train, you're not supposed to train with weights every day. It's every other day or every three days. So once again, if Deontay Wilder tried on that, that outfit three days in a row and tried to walk around with it, it could have had an effect on his legs. So that's ether. That's debunking the debunking, bitch. Now, let's talk about uh let's talk about the gloves. Uh there is footage of what looks to be Tyson Fury's uh skin hanging out of those gloves when you supposed to see wraps. But it looked like you could see Tyson Fury's, you know, fingers. Or at least, you know, his skin. Not supposed to happen. Once again, go to the Young Pharaoh's video. So, I'm debunking that. But I already came with a video explaining that. Like, I keep telling you, quit listening to idiots, man. For real. Quit listening to these idiots, man. So, I'm debunking that debunk. I don't even need to keep keep going on. Like I said, I know what these dudes be doing. And like I said, I already been through this bullshit. And I see what these dudes be doing. A lot of these dudes be trying to use the got the Gotti formula. You know, not John Gotti, not Irv Gotti, but you know, Travis Gotti. Because Travis Gotti used to do that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Until he ran across me and I basically destroyed his ass fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, um, you know, that that's neither here or there. You know, I just wanted to bring that up. A lot of people try to use that formula where basically they will try to attack or they'll try to basically go out of their way to appease a certain demographic because they know that leads to subs. Because, like I said, most of these white dudes on YouTube are not boxing fans. They're racist. And all they want to do is hear black people put down other black people on a regular basis. And like I told you, you on the wrong fucking channel if you think I'm going to do that. I ether when it's time to ether. Like I said, I call this box of shit like right down the middle. But you know, let's get to the Larry Merchant thing. Larry Merchant went out of his way to bring up Deontay Wilder being black. But it's it, it's funny if you a black dude that talk about race then all of a sudden you get these cornball ass non-blacks telling you well can we not make this about race where was these powdered milk village motherfuckers accusing larry merchant of race baiting and that's why i don't want want most of you motherfuckers on my channel because y'all full of shit nobody said hey larry larry merchant is race bait but they love to come on these black channels and try to tell us what what to talk about I don't know how many times I got to tell you I don't cater to you fucks. Your opinion means absolutely jack shit to me. And I'm not going to do it ever. For what? But they love that. Yeah. These non-blacks or these whites are joined. Or should I say subscribe to a black channel. As long as he's a black channel that love to put down black people and black fighters on a regular basis. And try to. Like I told you I seen all this shit. When these dudes would be lying saying that. That a lot of these black fighters was ducking Triple G when, in fact, it was actually Triple G that was doing the ducking. You know, they'll sit up there and go out of their way to attack, uh, to attack, uh, Floyd Mayweather, attack Andre Ward. That was that was the key to getting a lot of subs back in, you know, the early days. Well, the early days of when I started on YouTube back in 2015. That was the quickest way. To get subs, be anti Floyd Mayweather, be anti Andre Ward, or be anti black fighter for non black fighters. And then, you know, and then um, that's how you will get subs. That's how these non blacks and these uh, and these cockazoids would, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, subscribe to your channel. See, I remember it. But see, I was different. Because I, I basically spoke from the heart. And like I said. Once again. I wasn't even talking about race. All I did was try to make boxing videos. Just talk about the boxers. Break down these boxers. And leave it at that. But like I said. A lot of these non-blacks. 
and in particularly these 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 powdered milk village motherfuckers would come on here disrespecting me disrespecting my race disrespecting black fighters and i i i i begged and plead and asked him to stop doing that shit i said if y'all didn't stop i was gonna go on a rampage and then once again when i started clapping back then all of a sudden then here these dudes trying to cop a plea oh man why are you making this about race but then people calling me all kind of niggers for no reason, threatening me for no reason, threatening my son and all that type of shit. But then on the flip side, you got these clowns telling us we need to ignore that shit. Oh, oh, you're being emotional. No, no. Let me tell you something. When you hear a black dude say somebody being emotional or they comfortable in their own skin and and they they, you know, that don't bother. them. they basically saying they a coward. I, I told you, those the type of niggas that let white people disrespect them in their face. Them the type of black dudes that let white people use the N-word around them and don't check them. Them the type of dudes that let white people disrespect black people in front of their face and don't have the guts to check them. That's what they really be doing. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I was so disappointed in Sean Porter when he was sitting up there saying, Yes, sir. Yes, sir, to Larry Merchant. Fuck Larry. Fuck Larry Merchant. Fucking old geezer. Fuck that punk. I guarantee you, if he had said that shit, shit to me about Deontay Wilder, they would probably would have needed security. You might have seen seen Jim Ebert versus Jim Rome Rome. But then again, Larry Merchant probably, if you just tap him on the head with your thumb, he probably would fall out and die because he's such an old, old, decrepit motherfucker. Like I said, that dude, and then you got these dudes saying, well, well, what did he say that was racist? I explained to you in the video what he said, said was racist. But then, like I said, you got a lot, you got a lot of these coon ass handkerchief head niggas trying to cave for Larry Merchant. That's the biggest problem with a lot of niggas. The reason why we can't progress sometimes, like, like, hey, like Professor Black Truth said, because of some of these old niggas or some of these, some of these dudes that look like us. Because they stand in the way. And like I said, eventually they may have to get dealt with at first. But like I said, I seen that little video where dude was caping and, and the little post he put up. Like I said, the dude, I don't know why they keep putting his videos in my timeline. Because one, the nigga, one, I could tell the nigga snort coke the way the nigga be thumbing his nose and shit. Let me tell you guys something. I was in the game. I could tell a crackhead and, uh, you know, a motherfucker that played with his nose a mile away. Always look for a dude when he do this, when he put his thumb by his nose and shit, because he trying to see, do he, you know, because basically when you use cocaine for a long amount of time, you stop feeling your nostrils and shit. And sometimes it can burn through your nostrils because you stop feeling shit in your nose after you snort so much coke. When a dude go like this, put his thumb, that mean either he just snorted some coke a little while ago or he, you know, getting that urge to go get some coke. So I'm just, and it's a couple of niggas on here, you know, that be talking that shit that I could tell is uh, drug addicts. Another nigga on here that be like talking shit, some little bony ass nigga that be talking shit. Like, I, I need to explain something to y'all. I got a box in the martial arts background too. For real. And not to mention, y'all seen my marksman video. I'm real handy with that tool. Anything within 100 yards is toast real talk so that's why i don't be worried about your little empty threats and none of that type of shit because like i said real talk yeah try it try it try it so oh yeah and you can save that shit about uh why won't i show my face i didn't show my face several times I sh I'll show my face again. People know what I look like. So you can save that shit too. But yeah. It, yeah. Like like I said, man, there's a couple of clowns on here. Once again, doing the same bullshit. Cooning for views. Like I said, yeah, that bug eyed nigga, nigga snort coke. But, you know, it's cool. Like I said, it's a coon born every minute. Like I said, uh, that's why I stick within my circle of shit. Because like I said, I never do that type of buffoonery and, and you know what I'm saying, and putting on a minstrel show. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going against the grain. Look, it's like this. 
like like the great Michi X said and a couple other people, you can't expect all of us to get along and that's fine. None of us ain't going to all get along and be brothers and sisters. That's unfortunate. But at the end of the day, we can agree to disagree with respect. But at the same time, as a whole, when we see somebody that's trying to harm us and we stand by and don't do nothing and try to act like it, it don't exist or it's not happening, that make you a coward. That make you a punk bitch. It make you a spineless bitch ass nigga. But let me move on to the next video. This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out. And I'm not talking about that whole ass nigga no more neither. This is the last video I'm going to ever do about that whole ass nigga. And you can send this video to him too. This is your boy Town Biz. I'm out.